Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Let's walk you through how to choose the right tip for your application. This is important when using OxyFuel torches. Before we get started, note that gas equipment manufacturers designed tip seats uniquely for the torch and they are not interchangeable. So always make sure to match the brand of tip with the brand of torch. For this video, we will focus on how to choose a heating tip. The amount of energy produced by heating tips is measured in British thermal units, otherwise known as BTUs. As you can see, there are various heating tip sizes which produce different flame sizes and have different heat outputs or BTUs depending on your application. Heat output for Smith tips is represented by the average amount of BTUs, representing the amount of heat produced in one hour of use. Note that you don't want to exceed the flow capabilities of your torch, so different heating tip sizes require different torch handles. For example, Smith Heavy Duty Heating Tips require a WH200A Heavy Duty Handle. Next, you'll want to determine the metal thickness. The heat or BTU output of the tip you will need depends on the metal thickness. Typically, you will want more heat output or a higher BTU as your metal thickness increases. BTU output also affects the time it will take to heat the metal. If you use a lower BTU tip on a thicker piece of metal, it will take longer to heat than using a higher BTU tip. The last thing to consider when choosing a heating tip is the fuel gas being used. Different fuel gases have different characteristics which affect their function. Always choose a heating tip that is designed for the fuel gas you're using. To operate a heating tip both safely and effectively, it's also important to use the proper cylinder size, capable of supplying a sufficient amount of gas flow required for the specific heating tip model. To determine the gas flow requirements for a given heating tip size, refer to the owner's manual to identify the gas consumption measured by SCFH, or standard cubic feet per hour. It's also important to know the oxygen consumption to determine the minimum cylinder size to be used. For safe and proper operation of heavier duty or large heating tips with higher BTUs, you may need the following. A larger oxygen cylinder, especially for propane applications which consume a lot of oxygen. Larger diameter hoses to supply the proper volume of gas or heavy-duty regulators to provide the high gas flow for the tip consumption requirements. With some heating tips, a single cylinder may not be sufficient for the high gas flows required when using the largest tips. Multiple cylinders may need to be manifolded together. Make sure to consult your gas supplier for recommendations on manifolding cylinders. Choosing the right tip for your application is important for both safety and performance. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in our How-To Video Series to learn how to safely and effectively operate OxyFuel equipment.